West Vancouver. What is the worst performing market in West Van? Well, it's not condo, so let's get into it. This is your real estate market update for the month of October. Condos actually performed quite well in West Vancouver. Listings are down over 20%. And if you look at the number of units that have sold, we're over 50% from last year and 33% from last month. The sales to active ratio, which compares active listings to listings that have sold, is in a seller's market this month, sitting at 26.1%. Also not the worst performing market are townhouses. Out of the 13 units, we saw one sell last month, one got listed, and pretty much it's the same. So you guessed it, it has to be detached. Out of detached, we saw a 4.5 increase in listings from last year, bringing the total amount of homes listed to 469. But you always know when we talk about detached homes, we have to break down the numbers. Starting from homes priced zero to $3 million, we saw 12 sales out of the 112 listings, giving us a sales to act a ratio of 10.7%. From homes listed three to 5 million, we saw 10 sales out of the 183 listings, giving us a sales to act a ratio of 5.4%. And homes priced above 5 million saw five sales out of the 171 listings, giving us a sales to active ratio of 2.92%. Prices in West Vancouver haven't crashed yet. And who says it actually will? Going back from February, we've seen prices climb month over month. And in Detach, I expect things to be a bit stagnant as we head into the winter. Now condos, I do expect to go higher and higher. With less inventory and more demand, that's what you're gonna expect. Is North Vancouver's real estate market really outperforming all of Canada? Let's get into it. North Vancouver, this is your real estate market update for the month of November. Comparing from last year, listings for townhouses are down 11%. And if we look at the active listings, we saw 85 actives with 34 selling. If you take those two numbers, marry them, you get a nice sexy baby that I like to call a sales to active ratio. And for townhouses, we're at 40%, which means seller's market, you are the father. Now, if you're a buyer looking to buy a condo in North Van, you're not gonna like these numbers. Looking at last year listings, we saw 295. This year, we saw 50 less active listings. When it comes to sales, sales are up 12.6%. We saw 98. And average days on market is down a whopping 37% to 18 days on market. When it comes to detach, you wanna smoke that reefer, my man, because it's a lot more chiller when it comes to detach. Looking at the sales, we saw 251 active listings, which isn't much of a change from last year. Sales are down 4.8% with only 59 sales. Marry those two numbers, you're gonna get your sales to actor ratio at a lot chiller 23.5% which is a lot more chiller when you look at this compared to condos and townhouses. We're losing daylight here, so I'm gonna quickly run off these numbers. Now, when it comes to detach, we did see a 6.9 increase in benchmark pricing. When it comes to condos, we saw a 5.1 increase in condo prices from last year. And also, when we talk about townhouses, we saw a whopping 8.5% increase in benchmark pricing from this time last year. So prices have gone up. Do I think it's gonna to continue to go up? Probably not. We're probably gonna see it either stabilize or probably come down a little bit as inventory starts to rise. Now, if you have any questions about the market or wanna learn a little bit more, my name is Anthony Trinetti, and remember, when you're ready, call Trinetti.